here comes another case of the Eisring uh, example uh, for the law of conservation of linear momentum. The boy is moving uh, as before at 5 meters per second to the right, but now the grandma is moving uh, to the left. She is not stationary, so she's not moving to the right. She's moving to the left, so head on uh, to meet the boy. And <coughs> her speed now is uh, the same as the boy's, just in opposite direction. Um, you can, uh, and let's say that after the collision they grab onto each other again and they're going to be moving as one body. Um, so they're expecting the collision to happen. Um, you can predict uh, what will happen in this collision if you consider that their, their speeds are the same, just in opposite direction. But if you look at their masses, the mass of the grandma is 80 kilograms, the mass of the boy is 50 kilograms. So you, it can give you an idea of, of what will happen. And um, if you're thinking the same thing as I am, uh, because of the greater mass of grandma, she will kind of overpower the boy. So after the collision, um, they're, you know, when, they, when they meet, they shouldn't just stop. Um, and um, probably together they're going to be moving to the left. Uh, so let's see if, that, if we can use the law of conservation of momentum to verify that. So again, the law, uh, the, the law tells us that momentum before collision equals momentum after the collision. So here when we are plugging in the values for the initial, moment, uh, for the initial um, speed, uh, here is the momentum of the boy, here is the momentum of the grandma. Just make sure that you don't forget that this is negative 5 now, not positive 5, negative 5. And of course, here is their combined mass and the final velocity at which they're going to be moving together after the collision. So then you do the, the calculations and, and you can see in here that you get 250 plus negative 400. And of course 400 is greater than 250, so that's where the negative value will be coming from. Uh, here we have 130 times the velocity final. And so then we get a negative value for the final velocity of negative 1.15 meters per second, or negative 1.2 meters per second. So you can see that, that <coughs> excuse me, really after the collision, they are going to be moving to the left uh, at a speed of 1.15 meters per second.